Brought to you by wikivd.com Jensen Button Jensen Alexander Lyons Button is a British racing driver currently under contract with McLaren Honda as a reserve driver. He won the 2009 FIA Formula One World Championship driving for Braun GP. Button announced in September 2016 that he would be giving up his seat at the end of the 2016 season but announced that he would remain at McLaren as a reserve driver and ambassador of McLaren until 2018. Button began karting at the age of eight and achieved early success before progressing to car racing in the British Formula 4 Championship and the British Formula 3 Championship. He first drove in Formula 1 with Williams for the 2000 season. The following year he switched to Benetton which in became Renault and then for the 2003 season he moved to Bar. In 2004 he finished third in the World Drivers' Championship, with only the two Ferraris ahead of him. Bar was subsequently renamed Honda for the 2006 season, during which Button won his first Grand Prix in Hungary after 113 races. Following the withdrawal of Honda from the sport in December 2008, he was left without a drive for the 2009 season until Ross Braun led a management buyout of the team in February 2009, and Button suddenly found himself in a highly competitive Mercedes engine car. He went on to win a record equaling six of the first seven races of the 2009 season securing the World Drivers' Championship at the having led on points all season. His success also helped Braun GP to secure the World Constructors' Championship, for he moved to McLaren partnering fellow British racer and former world champion Lewis Hamilton. After finishing fifth for the team in 2010 Button finished the season as runner-up. In he took his first pole for McLaren at the 2012 Belgian Grand Prix, he spent a fifth season with the McLaren team in 2014, his 15th in Formula One and went on to complete two further years at the team in 2015 and 2016 before stepping back from full-time racing to take an ambassadorial and reserve driver role. He returned for a one-off appearance at the 2017 Monaco Grand Prix in place of Fernando Alonso which elevated him to joint second, with Michael Schumacher in the list of all-time F1 starts. From the races that Button has started he has won with a total of podium finishes. Early life and career Button was born on 19 January 1980 in Froome, Somerset and brought up in nearby Vobster. He was named after his father's Danish friend and rallycross opponent Erling Jensen changing the E2 and O to differentiate it from Jensen Motors. He was educated at Vallis First School, Selwood Middle School and Froome Community College. He is the fourth child of South African Simone Lyons and former rallycross driver John Button, who was well known in the UK during most of the 1970s for his so-called Colorado Beetle Volkswagen, before switching to a VW Golf MK1 in 1978. After his parents divorced when he was seven he and his three elder sisters were brought up by their mother in Froome. However, after a while the boy moved to his stepmother Pipica who had been married by his father in 1994. When Jensen was 19 years of age John Button and Pipica divorced. Button Jr. failed his first driving test for getting too close to a parked vehicle. Button enjoyed racing from an early age racing his BMX bike with friends after school. He began karting at the Clay Pigeon Raceway at the age of eight. After his father bought him his first kart and made an extraordinarily successful start. In 1989, aged nine he came first in the British Super Prix. He won all 34 races of the 1991 British Cadet Kart Championship along with a title. With Team Wright Karts, 
Further successes followed, including three triumphs in the British Open Kart Championship. In 1997, he won the Ayrton Senna Memorial Cup and also became the youngest driver ever to win the European Super 8 Championship. Aged 18 Button moved into car racing, winning the British Formula Ford Championship with Hayward Racing. He also triumphed in the Formula Ford Festival at Brands Hatch. At the end of 1998, he won the annual McLaren Autosport BRDC Young Driver Award. His prize included a test in a McLaren Formula One car which he received. At the end of the following year, Button entered the British Formula Three Championship in 1999. With the Promotech Me team, he won three times at Thruxton Pembury and Silverstone and finished the season as the top rookie driver and third overall. He finished fifth and second respectively in the Marlborough Masters and Macau Grand Prix losing out by 0.035 seconds to winner Darren Manning in the latter. Williams, 2000 At the end of 1999 Button had his McLaren test prize at Silverstone and also tested for the Prost team. A vacant race seat became available at the Williams team. Following the departure of Alex Zanardi and team boss Frank Williams arranged a shootout test between Button and Formula 3000 racer Bruno Junqueira with Button securing the drive. This made him Britain's youngest ever Formula One driver. Button was heavily hyped before his first race. Former driver Gerhard Berger described him as a Phenomenon, the head of his karting team Paul Lemons compared him to Ayrton Senna, and Williams technical director Patrick Head said he was remarkably mature, and definitely a star of the future. However some had misgivings about his lack of experience, and ability to cope with the pressures of Formula One, making his DE acute BUT in Australia. Button crashed during practice and qualified second last on the grid. However, he performed strongly in the race and was set to score a point before his engine failed 11 laps from the finish. A sixth-place finish at the next race in Brazil made him at the time the youngest driver ever to score a point. In his first six races, he outqualified his teammate Ralph Schumacher twice and was consistently close in pace. Journalist David Tremaine described Button's start as the stuff of any team owner's wildest dreams. However, Williams had intended to use Button only until they could exercise their option to buy the highly rated Juan Pablo Montoya out of his contract at Ganassi Racing. A dip in Button's form combined with Montoya's victory in that year's Indianapolis 500 led to Montoya being announced as his replacement midway through the season. Williams chose not to sell Button's contract keeping the right to recall him in 2003. He went to Benetton on a two-year loan. Button's best qualification of the season was third place in the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa Frank or Champs, and his best result was fourth in the German Grand Prix. Despite the worries about his inexperience, he made few mistakes during the season. The most notable coming in the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. Under safety car conditions, Button swerved to avoid the pack which had bunched up and subsequently crashed into the barrier. He blamed Michael Schumacher, who had been leading at the time and Schumacher apologized for it after the race. Button finished his impressive debut season in 8th place with 12 points. Benetton, 2001 For Button partnered experienced driver Giancarlo Fisichella at Benetton, which had recently been purchased by Renault. He endured a dismal season. The Benetton car was very uncompetitive and he was consistently outperformed by his teammate. He finished 17th in the Drivers' Championship with only two points, with his best result being fifth place at the. His poor form led to speculation he would be replaced before the end of the year. 
Team principal Flavio Briatore said either he shows HES super good, or he leaves the top echelon of drivers and reportedly offered him the chance to walk. Button believed that his inexperience showed as he struggled to help his team set up a competitive car. His lack of success combined with an extravagant lifestyle led some press publications to dub him a playboy. Renault 2002 In Benetton was rebranded as Renault F1 and Jarno Trulli joined the team to partner Button. Over the winter break Button spent a lot of time working with his engineering team and felt there was an improved understanding between them. He described himself as very confident for the season. He started well in the second race of the season in Malaysia. He was on track for his first podium before a suspension problem in the final laps dropped him to fourth place. Button's performances were greatly improved from the previous seasons. Although often out-qualified by Trulli he showed the faster race pace to outscore his more experienced teammate. Despite Button's performances and his desire to stay with Renault it was announced at the French Grand Prix that he would make way in 2003. For test driver Fernando Alonso, Briatore faced criticism for his decision but stated, Time will tell if I am wrong. He would also accuse Button of being a lazy playboy. In July, Button signed a two-year contract with a two-year option for British American Racing. Partnering 1997 world champion Jacques Villeneuve, an important factor in his decision was the chance to work with David Richards, the bar team principal. He finished the season seventh with 14 points, one place, and five points ahead of Trulli. 2003 Button faced early hostility from new teammate Villeneuve who suggested that Button had been hired for his marketing appeal more than his ability, and compared him to a member of a boy band. Button responded by denying he had anything to prove to Villeneuve. I am not here to earn Jacques' respect, I am here to win and move the team forward. Their relationship did not improve after the first Grand Prix in Australia. Villeneuve was due to pit but stayed out an extra lap and pitted when Button was due in, leaving Button waiting in the pit lane while Villeneuve's car was serviced. Villeneuve blamed it on radio problems but both Button and team principal David Richards hinted that they did not believe him. Button performed well in the first six races scoring eight points including fourth place. At the Austrian Grand Prix, Villeneuve had scored only three. Button crashed heavily at 185 miles per hour during Saturday practice in Monaco briefly knocking him unconscious, and he was detained in hospital overnight. Despite the accident Button still wanted to race, but was withdrawn by his team on medical advice. He also missed a one-day test in Monza, but was cleared to race in the following Grand Prix in Montreal. Button continued to outperform his teammate and this helped rebuild his previously faltering reputation. Just before the final race in Japan Villeneuve lost his seat at bar so Button was partnered with Takuma Sato. He took his second fourth place for the season and finished ninth in the Drivers' Championship with 17 points. 2004 the season was the first in which Button was the more experienced driver in his team. He was ambitious for the season saying, this year I could be a front runner. We want to run alongside the top teams. I want to be consistently in the points and on the podium. He took his first ever podium in the second race of the season, third place, at the Malaysian Grand Prix, saying afterwards there are no words to describe the feeling of your first podium. He followed it up two weeks later, with another third place in Bahrain. In the next race at Imola he took his first pole position, and finished second behind Michael Schumacher. His results, 
for the season were impressive, he took 10 podiums in 18 races and failed to score points in only three. Button came third in the Drivers' Championship, behind the two utterly dominant Ferrari drivers and helped Barr to take second in the Constructors' Championship. In August, Button became embroiled in a contract dispute. On 5 August, Button chose to leave Barr and signed a two-year contract to return to Williams. This was surprising, as Button was enjoying his best season to date while Williams had been struggling. Barr, however, insisted they had the right to exercise their option to keep Button. Button's management argued that the Barr option was not valid, because it contained a clause allowing him to leave if Barr risked losing their Honda engines. They felt the new contract signed in the summer for Honda to supply engines to Barr was not definitive and thus Button was free to move. The dispute went to Formula One's Contract Recognition Board who ruled in favor of Barr on 20 October forcing Button to stay with the team. Two of the men at the center of the dispute were soon removed. From their positions, team principal David Richards was replaced by Nick Fry after Honda bought 45% of the Barr business, and Button separated from his manager John Byfield saying he had been badly advised. 2005 Despite the feud Button insisted he had his team's backing and was optimistic for the 2005 season. He endured a difficult start, Barr were off the pace in the first race in Australia. And in the following race in Malaysia both cars retired with engine failure after only three laps. Two weeks later in the Bahrain Grand Prix Button had fought his way to fourth place from 11th on the grid before a clutch problem forced him into another retirement. The poor start only got worse at the Button finished third, but after the race scrutineers found his car had a second fuel tank kept inside the main tank. Once both were drained his car was 5.4 kilograms underweight. Although the race stewards took no action, the FIA appealed against the decision and the case was examined by the FIA International Court of Appeal. It could not be proved that Barr were deliberately cheating, however for contravention of the rules, both drivers were stripped of their points from San Marino and banned from the next two races. Returning at the bar were still struggling and Button finished 10th. He surprised everyone by taking the second pole position of his career in Montreal, but crashed out on lap 47 of the race while running third. The forced withdrawal of all teams using Michelin tires including Barr at the controversial men Button and Sato were still yet to score points after nine races of a 19-race season. However, this marked a turning point as Button scored in all of the remaining races. He was on the podium twice in the season, third place finishes in Germany and Belgium. He finished the season in ninth place with Bass sixth in the Constructors' Championship. For the second year in a row Button had contract disputes involving Barr and Williams. Button had signed a pre-contract to drive for Williams in 2006 but he now believed his prospects would be better at Barr, and that his Williams contract was not binding. Frank Williams insisted the contract was fully binding and that there would be absolutely no turning back. His team required Button to fulfill some contractual obligations with sponsors. After several weeks of talks Williams agreed to release Button in exchange for an estimated £18 million in compensation. Barr brought in experienced driver Rubens Barrichello, from Ferrari to partner Button replacing Takuma Sato. In October, Honda bought the remaining 55% of Barr from British American Tobacco, renaming the team Honda Racing F1. Button said at the time Honda buying the team is amazing news and really shows their commitment to winning the World Championship. 2006 The new team performed well in testing prior to the 2006 season helped 
by the extra resources now available from Honda and Button was confident in the car. The early part of the season proved difficult. At the first round he scored five points with fourth place and finished on the podium in Malaysia. In Australia he qualified on pole, but was overtaken on the run to the first corner by Fernando Alonso and Kimi Raikkonen after a safety car period. He was running fifth in the race before his engine blew at the last corner on the last lap. He stopped short of the finish line to avoid an engine penalty at his home race at Silverstone. He qualified 19th after he lost time being weighed and his team failed to get him on track quickly enough. He spun off on lap 8 due to an engine oil leak. At the button out qualified Barrichello for the first time since Imola, but finished outside the points in 9th. He retired at the in a first lap collision involving several drivers and again at the due to an engine failure. At the button was again pulled into the waybridge but went on to qualify fourth. After running third for a while in the race button eventually finished fourth. Button took the first win of his career in 2006. At a chaotic the 113th Grand Prix start of his career. He started 14th after a 10-place grid penalty for an engine change. The race was badly affected by heavy rain, and Button passed a number of drivers in the early laps including championship contender Michael Schumacher and was up to fourth by lap 10. Following the retirement of leading drivers Kimi Raikkonen and Fernando Alonso he went on to win the race by just over half a minute from Pedro de la Rosa and Nick Heidfeld. Alonso was behind Button on the racetrack when he retired although Button still had one pit stop to make. Button's win bettered Nigel Mansell's 1989 win from 12th on the grid at the Hungaroring. Button was the first British driver to win since David Coulthard in March 2003, and the first English driver to win since Johnny Herbert won the 1999 European Grand Prix. He was the second driver after Raikkonen to win a race despite a grid penalty for changing an engine. At the British Academy Television Awards 2007, Button's first win earned ITV won a BAFTA under the category of Best Sport. Button finished fourth or fifth at each of the next five races and finished the season with a podium finish. At the final round in Brazil, over the last six races of the season Button scored more points than any other driver. 2007 in 2007 Button again competed with Honda alongside Barrichello. He was unable to take part in winter testing prior to the season because of two hairline fractures to his ribs, sustained in a karting incident in late 2006. Former British world champion Damon Hill aired doubts over Button's hopes to be a championship contender at Honda over the coming season saying if he is serious, he has to get himself in a car that is a championship contender. Alan Henry writing in The Guardian 2007 F1 season guide predicted, Button will win a couple more races but is not a title contender. He was proved to be wrong, as the Honda RA107 proved to be aerodynamically poor. At the first race of the season in Australia Button only managed to qualify 14th after handling problems. The race was no better, as he endured considerable understeer throughout was given a drive-through penalty for speeding in the pit lane and finished 15th. The next two races in Malaysia and Bahrain were just as unsuccessful. Button finishing 12th behind teammate Barrichello in Malaysia, and not even completing a lap in Bahrain after colliding with Red Bull racing driver David Coulthard at Turn 4. At the Button finished 8th earning his and Honda's first point of 2007. Following the it was announced that Button would remain with Honda 4, as Button's place as the preeminent British driver in Formula 1 was effectively taken. 
by Lewis Hamilton former champion Nigel Mansell criticized but in saying Jensen should have won more races he has underperformed and that is down to him. Honda team boss Nick Fry defended his driver saying, I would refute everything Nigel has said, and particularly I think his comments about Jensen's reputation for partying are about five years out of date. His increasing maturity and the way he changed his lifestyle is extremely noticeable. Button made no secret of his frustration regarding his current situation. He described his 2007 season as a total disaster. Button did, however, record several impressive outings towards the end of the season, especially when rain was prominent. 2008 Button stayed with Honda for and continued to be partnered by Barrichello. The Honda RA 108 proved to be uncompetitive and he scored his only points at the with sixth place, but did not finish in the wet in front of his home crowd at Silverstone, where Barrichello finished third. On 5 December 2008, Honda announced that they were quitting Formula One due to the global economic crisis leaving Button's chances of a drive independent on the team finding a buyer. Braun GP 2009 On 5 March 2009 it was announced that the former Honda team would race in 2009 as Braun GP. Following a late buyout by Ross Braun, the previous team principal of Honda Racing, Button and Rubens Barrichello were confirmed as the team's drivers for with Button reported to have taken a 50% pay cut as a part of the deal. In the first half of the year the Braun team benefited from a controversial diffuser design, which gave the teams using it an advantage over teams that did not. Once the major teams introduced their own reconfigured diffusers Button's dominance ended with Button winning six of the first seven races but averaging only sixth in the following ten races. Braun GPU impressed from the first Grand Prix, Button took pole position in Australia his first for the team and third ever with Barrichello, qualifying in second. Button then led from start to finish, to win the race ahead of his teammate the first time a team had scored a 1-2 finish on their debut. Since, with Button describing it as a fairy tale ending for the first race, one week later he repeated the accomplishment taking pole position and winning a rain curtailed. Due to the rain the race was red flagged and only half points were awarded. At the Button finished third behind Red Bull's Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber but returned to winning ways the following week in Bahrain despite only qualifying fourth. The fifth race of the season was at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. The return to Europe allowed most of the teams to update their cars including modifications to Button's car, the Braun BGP-001 which had not yet been altered since the season began. Button took pole position, with the final lap of the qualifying session describing the updates as good step forward. Both Button and Barrichello initially planned to stop three times during the race, however, after he fell behind Barrichello at the first corner Button was switched to a two-stop strategy, and this meant he ended up finishing comfortably ahead. An unhappy Barrichello felt immediately after the race that the team might have sacrificed him to help Button saying, if I get the slightest sniff that they are favoring Jensen or hang up my helmet tomorrow. At the Button scored his fourth pole position of the season with his final lap of qualifying. Commenting afterwards it was my best lap of the weekend, and definitely one of the best laps I've ever done. Button then managed his tires much better than his teammate in the early stages of the race building a lead which he did not relinquish, and making it a hat-trick of victories. David Tremaine described it as, as good a performance as anything we had seen there from the likes of Ayrton Senna, or Michael Schumacher adding that it, swept away final doubts about
about his ability after years of floundering in mediocre machinery. In Turkey, Button qualified second behind Vettel, but a first lap error from the German allowed him to take the lead and he held off the competition to take his fourth consecutive win. This meant he had won six out of season's first seven races, an achievement matched only by Alberto Ascari, Juan Manuel Fangio, Jim Clark, and Michael Schumacher, who all went on to win the world title. The in June marked the end of Button's superiority over the field, and was the first in a string of poor results for him. He achieved only sixth place followed by a fifth place in Germany as the Red Bull cars dominated both races. Braun GP were hopeful of a strong result in the as the car had been significantly updated and was usually at its best in hot conditions. However Button struggled with tired temperatures and achieved a season worth seventh place. During the race he asked frustratedly over team radio. How can this car be so bad at the moment? His bad run continued in Valencia. He was out-qualified by his teammate and then held up behind Weber for a lot of the race. Could finish only in seventh place. Barrichello pushed on to win the race and closed the gap on Button to 18 points. Martin Brundle felt that Button was struggling. With the pressure of leading the World Championship writing, he has tightened up in the car, and his natural instincts behind the wheel are being restricted. The following race, at Spa Francorchamps, Button had his first retirement of the season after a collision with Romain Grosjean during the first lap. This meant Button had scored only 11 points from his previous five races and with five races left his lead was down to 16 points over Barrichello and 19 and 20.5 over Vettel and Weber respectively. Button recovered. At Monza, he qualified sixth before finishing second behind his teammate. The following race in Singapore Button qualified poorly in 12th, but performed much better on race day to take fifth place. Barrichello could manage only sixth. With three races and 30 points remaining this put Button 15 points ahead of his teammate and 25 ahead of Vettel with Weber now unable to win. A week later at the Japanese Grand Prix, the Braun GP cars struggled again Barrichello and Button finishing seventh and eighth respectively. At the Button was hampered in qualifying by a poor choice of tyres in the wet weather and could achieve only 14th position. His championship campaign was boosted by Vettel qualifying 16th but teammate and closest rival Barrichello qualified on pole. In the race Button was aided by a first lap incident and was up to 7th by lap 7. He ran as high as 2nd place by halfway but ultimately finished fifth taking enough points to secure the championship with one round to spare. At the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi, Button qualified behind Barrichello again but was able to achieve a podium by coming third. With 169 starts, Button made the second highest number of race starts before becoming world champion. Only Nigel Mansell had competed in more races than Button before winning the World Championship. Button wrote a book about his 2009 season entitled My Championship Year which was published by Weidenfeld. Button was announced as one of the 10 men and women shortlisted for the 2009 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award. At the award ceremony on 13 December 2009, Button was awarded second place. On 6 December, Button won the BBC West Country's Sports Personality of the Year at the University of Bath. He won the main award against racehorse trainer Paul Nichols cricketer Marcus Trescothic and golfer Chris Wood. He also won the Laureus World Breakthrough of the Year award. Button was appointed member of the Order of the British Empire in the 2010 New Year Honours for his services to motorsport. Button 
Jensen's hometown Froome has named a street Jensen Avenue after him, and has awarded him the freedom of the town. The town also intends to name a new bridge over the river Froome, the Jensen Button Bridge. 2010 Following the buyout of Braun by Mercedes, Button announced on 18 November 2009 that he would be leaving the team to move to McLaren. For the season, he signed a three-year deal for a reported £6 million per season to drive alongside former world champion Lewis Hamilton. Button said he moved because he wanted the motivation and challenge from competing head-to-head -head with Hamilton and that Braun had offered him more money. A number of people, including former Formula One drivers John Watson, Jackie Stewart and Eddie Irvine, believe the move was a mistake and that Button would struggle to compete with Hamilton. At McLaren, after a seventh-place finish in the opening round in Bahrain, Button won the second race in Australia from fourth on the grid. Button was the first to come in for slick tyres on a damp but drying track which lifted him to second place after the other drivers had pitted. He inherited the lead when Vettel retired with brake problems and maintained his lead to the end without changing his tyres again. His victory made him the 13th driver in Formula One history to have won Grand Prix for at least three different constructors. Following an eighth-place finish in Malaysia, after starting 17th, Button went on to win his second race of the season from fifth on the grid in China by staying on slick tires while most of the other drivers pitted. For intermediates, he was promoted to second place. However, the rain did not come, and the other drivers had to pit again for dry tires. Subsequently, he went on to lead the drivers' championship with McLaren leading the constructors' championship. In Spain he was leapfrogged by Michael Schumacher and finished a frustrated fifth before retiring in Monaco due to an overheating engine on lap three. As a result, Button lost his lead in the championship dropping to fourth behind both Red Bull drivers and Alonso. Button then finished second in Turkey after Red Bull teammates Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel who were leading the race collided with each other. His own teammate Hamilton took the win, after the two of them briefly touched after a few corners of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Hamilton had been told by the McLaren team to slow down, and that Button would not pass him if he did so. Button passed the surprised Hamilton anyway, though Hamilton quickly took the lead back. The second place promoted Button to second overall in the championship just behind Weber. In Canada he followed up this result, and remained second in the championship three points behind his teammate Hamilton. At the in Valencia, Button finished third and maintained second place in the title race with another podium. Button missed out on a podium at the finishing fourth after problems with the balance of his car in qualifying had left him 14th. After three further points scoring finishes Button retired at the after being hit by Vettel, which punctured the radiator of his car. Second at Monza was followed by a fourth place in both Singapore and Japan. During the weekend Button and his entourage were threatened by a number of gunmen on his way back from qualifying at Interlagos although nobody was harmed during the incident. Button was mathematically eliminated from retaining his championship title with a fifth place in the race. At the season finale in Abu Dhabi Button qualified fourth. He moved ahead of Alonso at the start, and moved up to third. Hamilton and Vettel pitted leaving Button in the lead. After doing 39 laps on the option tyre Button pitted and slotted back into third, where he would finish and secure fifth in the championship. 2011 Began slowly for Button and McLaren with Vettel dominating the early races. Button came second in Malaysia and third in Spain and Monaco losing the chance 
for a race win in the latter race after a red flag in the closing laps allowed Vettel and Alonso to change tyres. Two weeks later in Canada Button took what he called the best win of career, overtaking Vettel on the final lap after Vettel made a mistake under pressure. Button made five pit stops had his teammate crash into him, served a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car dropping him to last place as well as sustaining a puncture from a collision with Alonso and made 27 on-track passes to win the longest Formula One race in history. Button suffered his first retirement of the season at the cause by an error. At his final pit stop, the wheel gun failed to refit the wheel nut and Button was released by the pit crew with an unsecured wheel. At the he retired in consecutive races, for the first time since 2008 due to hydraulic issues. Button won his 200th Formula One race, at the where he had won his first Grand Prix in 2006. Button finished third in Belgium, having qualified in 13th after a miscommunication with his team after overtaking Alonso. With two laps to go, he finished second at both Monza, in Singapore. Button chased Vettel who was in the lead with a few laps to go closing it over a second a lap but, at the final moment traffic denied him the chance to take first. After Singapore he moved into second place in the Drivers' Championship, and he became the only driver that could deny Vettel a second consecutive title. Prior to the, Button signed a multi-year contract extension with McLaren. The new deal would earn Button £85 million. He took victory in the race ahead of Alonso and Vettel, the latter becoming champion. At the McLaren team principal Martin Whitmarsh stated that the length of Button's new contract was three years. Button qualified fourth for this race and elevated himself to second position on the first lap overtaking Alonso at the turn one and Weber on the long back straight. He eventually finished second behind Vettel, whose race pace he had been unable to match. In Abu Dhabi Button qualified third, and also finished in third after teammate Hamilton won the race, and pole sitter Vettel suffered a puncture on lap one and retired with suspension damage. Button suffered a recurring curse problem for a large part of the race, but still had a good gap between himself and fourth-placed man Weber, as well as an almost equal gap to second-placed Alonso in front. These results ensured that Button was the first teammate to outscore Lewis Hamilton in a season. At the final race of the season the Button out qualified Hamilton to start third on the grid, and he also finished third in both occasions behind the two Red Bull cars by overtaking Alonso on lap 62. The result secured second place in the championship for Button, some 122 points behind Vettel. In 2011 Button won three Grand Prix set three fastest laps and finished on the podium 12 times. 2012 Button remained at McLaren for the 2012 season again, partnering Hamilton. Button qualified second to Hamilton before going on to win the first race of the season in Australia. Button went on to qualify second to Hamilton. At the following race in Malaysia, however, he finished 14th after a collision with the HRT of Narain Karti, Kian and a lack of grip. This was Button's first non-points finish since the 2010 Korean Grand Prix and it ended a point streak which started at the 2011 Hungarian Grand Prix. Button finished second in China two weeks later. In the Button qualified fourth behind his teammate Lewis Hamilton in second. During the race Button found frustration with the levels of grip and retired on lap 55 due to an exhaust failure, at the button qualified 11th, the first time he had qualified outside the top 10 all season. After failing to finish above 8th in the next four races button finished 3rd in Germany, 
Although he was later promoted to second after Sebastian Vettel was penalized in the race, he went on to pick up his first pole position for over three years at Belgium. Button won the race becoming the first driver of the season to lead every lap of a Grand Prix. Button qualified in second place behind his teammate at the and remained in second place until he had to pull up and retire. With a fuel pressure problems two-thirds of the way through the race, at the Button qualified in fourth place and finished the race in second place after Vettel inherited the win. When Hamilton had a gearbox failure during the race, Button qualified in third place in Japan behind a Red Bull front row but was hit with a five-place penalty for a gearbox change and dropped to eighth. Button made the best of various first corner incidents and weaved his car into third place. He eventually finished fourth after Felipe Massa leapfrogged him in the pit stops, and he was unable to overtake Kamui Kobayashi before the end of the race. Button qualified down in 11th place for the but was forced to retire from the race after the first lap when Kobayashi collided with him and also Nico Rosberg. During the button finished fifth behind teammate Hamilton after starting the race fourth and being overtaken by Fernando Alonso in the opening laps. He qualifies sixth for the finishing fourth after being overtaken in the final laps by Sebastian Vettel. He picked up his third win of the season at the season ending in changeable conditions are after a battle for the lead with Nico Hülkenberg and teammate Hamilton. Button dropped back from the two halfway through the race, but they then collided with Hamilton retiring and Hülkenberg being forced to pit. Button was able to pick up his 15th and final career victory. He ended up finishing fifth in the championship, just a few points behind his teammate. 2013. In March 2013 Button announced that he intends to stay with McLaren until he retires. At the Button qualified 10th and finished 9th, despite the team admitting that they did not truly understand the way the McLaren MP428 behaved in race conditions. In Malaysia Button started the race 7th, but retired just before the end of the race. Button was partnered with Mexican driver Sergio Perez after Lewis Hamilton left to join Mercedes after Perez impressed McLaren CEO Martin Whitmarsh with the Sauber team in 2012. Throughout the season and particularly at the Monaco and Bahrain Grand Prix, there was exciting racing between the two drivers leading to Button making the following comment on his team radio asking the team to calm him down. Button was very critical of Perez and his driving style after the race. Button's best result in 2013 was a fourth place at the last Grand Prix of the season in Brazil, ending a difficult and underperforming season for Button and the McLaren team as a whole in recent times. He finished the season in ninth place, with just 73 points. The season was Button's first no-podium season since 2008. 2014 After a difficult 2013 season with McLaren it was announced in November 2013 that Danish driver Kevin Magnussen would replace Sergio Perez as Button's teammate for the 2014 season. After being a member of McLaren's young driver program, there was a rule change for the 2014 season where the drivers could pick a car number and this would be their unique and personal car number for their Formula 1 career, but in pick number 22 which was the car number he raced under during his world championship winning year for Braun GP in at the first race he button finished the race in fourth place. However, as second place Daniel Ricciardo was subsequently disqualified after his car was found to have exceeded the maximum allowed fuel flow rate of 100 Button was promoted to third. Ultimately, Button finished the 2014 season eighth in the Drivers' Championship with 126 points. 
His teammate Magnussen finished 11th with 55 points, with Alonso moving to McLaren for the season when they would be using Honda engines. The team had not announced in November 2014 whether they would be retaining Button or Magnussen as Alonso's teammate, leaving both 2014 drivers wondering whether they would be driving in Formula One in 2015. Button commented that his father would have been livid about his uncertain future. After the last race of the season at which Hamilton won the Drivers' Championship for the second time and had been a teammate of Button's in the past, Hamilton said that McLaren would be smart to keep Button developing building a team stabilizing a team. You need strong drivers to lead the team and HES the full package. 2015 On the 11th of December 2014 McLaren announced that Button would be staying with them for the 2015 season. Partnering former world champion Fernando Alonso, the BBC reported that he had signed a two-year contract which included an option for 2016. The new McLaren Honda package started out to be unreliable and problematic after the 29th of January launch. In the three pre-season tests Button teammate Alonso and reserve driver Kevin Magnussen only had a single day over 100 laps which was completed by Button. Arriving in Australia Button qualified 17th and finished 11th, and last in the detuned McLaren to ensure the team and new power unit supplier. Honda Racing F1 would compile decent mileage because of energy recovery issues. This continued into Malaysia where Button had to retire from the race. In China Button collided with Lotus racer Pastor Maldonado in the latter stages of the Grand Prix. Button received a five-second time penalty dropping him one spot to 14th and two penalty points to his super license which was previously clean for which the points will last 12 months. Button described the crash as just a misjudgment. Button had a horrible weekend in Sakia, where he had to stop on track three times once in FP1, another time in FP2 and again in Q1, where he was unable to set a time and had to line up 20th and last on the grid. After an energy recovery issue Button could not even start the race. In Monaco, he scored his first points of the season finishing in 8th place. At his home Grand Prix in Great Britain Button retired on the first lap after contact with his teammate Alonso. At the Hungarian Grand Prix Button finished in ninth place. Button also finished ninth at Sochi and in the next Grand Prix. At Austin he finished an incredible sixth place out of 12 finishing drivers, with his teammate Alonso finishing 11th. Besides the points scoring positions Button and his teammate Alonso often qualified in the back of the grid, with the Briton being eliminated very often in Q1 in qualifying. The McLarens were only ahead of the Manners and sometimes also the Saubers. The Honda engine was lacking both reliability and power, with the McLaren car proving slight potential on slow circuits. 2016 after the 2015 Japanese Grand Prix, McLaren principal Ron Dennis confirmed that Button would be driving for the team in. This time the Honda engine showed more pace but the reliability was still a problem. Sometimes the McLarens were fighting for points but on many of these races there were problems or retirements especially for Jensen who finished the season in 15th place with 21 points with his teammate Alonso in 10th place with 54 points. Button's best result was a 6th place at the Austrian Grand Prix sabbatical in 2017. On 3 September 2016 Button announced he would be stepping down from the McLaren race seat for the 2017 season. He has signed a two-year deal to be an ambassador with the team holding an option for him to return as a race driver in 2018. Button replaced Fernando Alonso for the 2017 Monaco Grand Prix after Alonso decided 
to compete in the Indianapolis 500 which was held on the same day. The appearance was a one-off, and Alonso returned to partner Stoffel Van Dorn for the subsequent races. Button qualified ninth for the race but was hit with a 15-place grid penalty for parts replaced on his Honda power unit, and then an addition required to start from the pit lane after his car was modified under park ferme conditions. During the race he was running behind Sauber's Pascal Werlin when the two collided on lap 58. Button's car sustained damage and he was forced to retire from the race. Personal life Like many Formula One drivers Button resides in the Principality of Monaco. Although he did live in Guernsey for 18 months before returning to Monaco in 2012, he also has properties in the UK and Bahrain. His hobbies include mountain biking, competing in triathlons and bodyboarding and his car collection includes a Nissan GTR, a 1956 VW campervan, a Honda S600 and a Mercedes C63 AMG, a McLaren 675 LT Spider McLaren P1, numerous Ferraris and his championship-winning Braun BGP-001. In 2013 Button announced his plans to sell his Ferrari Enzo at an auction. He previously owned a Honda NSX Type R and a Bugatti Veyron. He was engaged to the actress and singer Louise Griffiths before ending their five-year relationship in May 2005. In 2009, Button began dating model Jessica Michibata. On 14 February 2014 Button proposed to Michibata, and the two married in Hawaii in December 2014. In December 2015, Button announced they had split up after one year of marriage. In 2016 Button started dating model Brittany Ward. Button has at least three tattoos, a black coat button on his right forearm, a large tribal design encompassing his left shoulder and upper chest, and Japanese kanji characters on his ankle which says, this was done before he won the world title and is the name of Button's triathlon team. Since mid-2010 the same legend has appeared on Button's race helmet. Button is also a brand ambassador for head, for the company, Button is also involved in charitable work through the creation of the Jensen Button Trust. Established in March 2010, the Trust provides donations to a number of charitable causes. Each year the Trust will select and nominate charitable beneficiaries, to which the funds will be distributed. On 5 September 2011, Button opened a restaurant on Beulah Street in Harrogate called Victus but it closed after less than a year in trading. Button's manager Richard Goddard said, Unfortunately the business was launched in an economy which then continued to slide and just hasn't stopped with people simply not having the disposable income needed to spend in restaurants. On 12 January 2014 Button's father John died at his home on the French Riviera age 70. John whom Jensen called Papa Smurf is thought to have died from a heart attack. John was a constant member of Jensen's small entourage. On 3 August 2015 Button and his wife Jessica were burgled at a rented St. Tropez home while staying with friends when robbers looted the house and stole belongings worth £300,000 including his wife's £250,000 engagement ring. Reports suggested that the couple might have been gassed through the air conditioning system prior to the burglar's entry into the building. On 18 October 2015 Button won a triathlon competition at Hermosa Beach, California. On 8 December 2016 Button was awarded an honorary doctorate in engineering from the University of Bath. Complete Formula One results Half points awarded as less than 75% of race distance was completed. Driver did not finish the Grand Prix but was classified as he completed over 90% of the race distance.
Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?